Economists say the economic turndown is letting up, but that's not saying everyone is out of the woods yet. Tacoma Park's Regina Rees has a story about a local food pantry. County Executive Ike Leggett was here to take a first-hand look at a local food pantry's program and its needs. One of the needs they clearly have is a need for space. Uh, they cannot accommodate uh, the number of people that they have within the space that they have, nor can they properly store the food. Over 250 people came out to this month's food distribution. Founder and Program Director of Educare Services, Dunrick Soldier Thomas, is spearheading the program at the Grace United Methodist Church and has been since 2009. So they had a foot pantry in the, at the church, but it was only a few people coming, like two or three or four people coming in. So I started sending out letters as well to Manor and Capital Area Food Banks um, requesting for assistance. I decided to start the food pantry because there was a need out there. People were in need of food. Since the start of the program, numbers have grown. Local cities and agencies have given some funding and generous donations, like these freezers from the city of Tacoma Park. Unfortunately, limited funds also mean limited resources. Normally, with proper funding, they'd be able to provide one food package per person, containing things like bread, eggs, fresh fruits and vegetables, canned goods. But now, due to the lack of funds, they're only able to provide one food package per family. Now, what's supposed to last one person one month is forced to last one family two weeks, if that. At the moment, we're relying on funding we get from different agencies as well. And I personally pay for most of the stuff that comes here. The organization has a large task ahead if they want to continue to meet high demands. One thing is for sure, community volunteers are happy to lend a helping hand. Being here and helping others, it really opened my eyes to let me know that there are a lot of people out there who don't have as much as everyone else. And I guess it makes me feel a little better knowing that at least there's someone out there trying to provide for them. And I think this program has done a good job of doing that. A dedicated soldier, Thomas says that despite the challenges, he plans to stick to the fight against hunger. The pantry also provides other services to the public. For a complete listing, visit this website.